that is, you interlocked the two. Now stretch the whitest. Soccer and the fifth. Quiet, please. In exactly 15 seconds, we'll be on the air. I felt like a reptile, like a reptile. I felt like a reptile. That's all. Come and sit. He'll be all over YouTube. Come and sit with us, lad. <coughs> Come on, man. None of your other mates have done that. It's cool. There's gonna be a lot of swearing as well. So. I think yeah, Mystery's yeah. growing his hair out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. I think Mystery's growing his hair out. <laughs> Fucking hell, Mystery's hair grows fast, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, and yeah. he shaved his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Are we recording? Yeah. Wicked. How are we doing? Good. You, so, are, are you on sound this week? Saul from Chasing States has been helping us out with the sound. Oh, he will be helping us out. Yeah, so don't th- drop him. Okay, okay so don't be like, yeah, okay. he smashed it. Okay, no, no. Still wank. So, so we apologise in advance for the sound this week being shit still. Why? Because you keep fucking it up. Who fucks you up, Mister? So well, they they're, they're video guys, aren't they? I mean, sound's not, you know. Is it a very Sounds not really a priority. It, Unless it's weird, like soundscape kind of burial type of music, then burial not, you know, music. No, burial. How that's, many albums are there? They've actually got me into burial recently. Oh, they've yeah. actually, I've been listening to them a lot. Very relaxing yeah. stuff. No, Good for driving know. in the rain. I've been burial. To Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Underrated, mate. Different. Slightly mm. different. Underrated. What have I? I've downloaded a couple of new things recently. What have I downloaded? Um, oh, Doctor John, Gris Gris. Awesome. Um, I watched uh, Black Mirror the other day. Yeah. You know the band, Banda Wit, Banda Snatch? Yeah, Banda Snatch, Banda Snatch yeah, one. Good, right? Yeah, yeah, I watched that. So I downloaded Thompson Twins and uh, Bauhaus as well. And then I've, I've been listening to the new Cypress Hill. I've had that on the gym. Mm, that's been, yeah, that's yeah. good, that, yeah. Um, that's fighting music, isn't it? It's pretty good. Oh, it is yeah. good, that. I've got it is good. To a bit of that, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. What do you reckon to, what's it, Black Mirror? I enjoyed it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I was... I mean, I don't know how long, how long it actually is because you can you can kind of yeah, guide you. Have you seen it, Bandersnatch? No, no. It's like you, you remember those books they were out when we were at school. Ian Livingston. Yeah, Ian Livingston. Yes, fighting fantasy. Fighting fantasy. What you all need for this remember book that? is a dice. Huh? No, it was on Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I seen, that's why I wanted to watch that. Yeah, you got to talk into that. Jim. I wanted to watch that the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery's <laughs> 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 just subtitles. had his ears blown out. He's <laughs> typing subtitles out as we speak. <laughs> Fuck this. So, there's someone <laughs> listening to this audio only has just swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. Jimmy's you responsible. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The guy, what? The guy that's just had the accident? The police are on the way. <laughs> what I was going to say about Black Mirror, because it's wicked. Yeah. It's really good. But it all when you watch it, when you binge watch it, which is what we do nowadays, it seems it gets to the point where it's a bit techie say me uh-huh i was gonna say one thing to watch is inside number nine if you've not seen that oh with the uh league of gentlemen yes, guys i put I, I was gonna put that on the other day is it good it's dark as fuck it's brilliant is and it? it's like black mirror but it's uh oh, reese shearsmith and uh steve pemberton and basically it's just little sketches they're like half an hour long so it's like black mirror but it's like a british version so it's, it's not a series, series then it's not yeah, like five a, series it's, but is it like a story about a particular yeah, no, it's all new stories, like Black okay, Mirror, but okay. it's honestly oh, check it's that out. so I, good. I like League of Gentlemen. That was really weird. Did you remember that? Yeah, I remember yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually seen something like that. I've seen that. Yeah, and yeah. Psychoville. Did you watch Psychoville? No. What's all this shouting? We have no trouble yeah, yeah. here. Amazing. League of Gentlemen was good. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, so definitely get on that. Because I watched, I'm going back to talk about music, I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, what do you think? I've watched that. I what do you think? I've watched that. I, I loved get it. in a conversation. I've watched yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 10, what would you give it? All the, well, it's Tarantino, so 10. You give it a 10, yeah. Always. All, all nine of them. I was, I was a little bit... I thought it was a bit slow. I thought, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I thought yeah, it was all right. I thought that last scene was wicked. Yeah. Last I, scene I had was, a big bag of salt and vinegar crisp, so to be fair, I, was, <laughs> I didn't feel like it was slow because I was concentrating on munchies. Mm. I thought it was... I thought it was yeah. <laughs> that was a big packet a thing, of crisps. Thing, for real, it's one of walkers fucking... Like you know when they're trying to fancy someone? Two hours, right? Two hours? Yeah, yeah. Long one. Yeah. Yeah. Long one, wasn't it? But yeah. I think, because someone said to me, it's like, oh, well, it's fucking going nowhere. Then all of a sudden it takes a massive change of direction. I was like, and when I watched it, I was expecting this massive shift and something yeah. like... It wasn't really, was it? No. No. Like, it just something carnage. like Dust Till Dawn pop out and be like, yeah. oh, she's a vampire fucking <laughs> no. like, succubus. But that yeah. wasn't the case. It was just, 
They were both bad. It was just, it was just Terrence. It was just chaos at the end, like he's, like most mm. of his movies are. Yeah. Well, Stacey said to me, she says, you normally expect more. It was a good scene, though. Yeah, it was wicked. Yeah. And especially what? when he's smashing up. Oh, not mm. to fucking. What's your, what's your, to ruin it. What's your top three uh, Tarantinos then in order? Ooh. What's your Django. favorite? Django's your favorite. Django. Yeah. Yeah, Django Unchained. Fucking incredible. Mm. One of my favorite films. And then probably Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction. Mm. Uh huh. Together because it's the same, <laughs> same kind of time. So, so. They were two so did, did I say your top four Tarantino movies yeah, then? Yeah. yeah, so that works as well. And one. number two can be two movies. Do you, you can grab any. Like Inglorious <laughs> Bastards. Yeah, I like Inglorious Bastards. Bastards. That's how it is. Is it? You yes, have to say it like that? Yeah. <laughs> Inglorious <laughs> Bastards. It is. This it feels is. like, this feels like the family guy. Jimmy, uh, cool it is Inglorious Bastards, yeah. <laughs> E-R-D-S, yeah. It just sounds weird. I've never heard anybody say that before like that. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. No, E-R-D-S. Yeah. And I've seen that before, yeah. 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 Bastards. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm aware. I've just, just way never. I've, said it. I've never heard anybody say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Emphasize the bastards. 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 Yeah. What's yours? I know yours is your, yours is Death Kill, Proof's death, my favorite. Death Proof, right? Yeah, Death Proof's my favorite, mainly because of the the soundtrack and the uh, the car. Have you seen that one? No, that's no. you remember my old Nova that I had in uh, Los Angeles, the old black hot rod. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. basically that car, and it's Kurt Russell, and he's a stunt driver, and someone right. gets murked out in about the yeah. first minute. Okay. So he's a stunt driver and that's his stunt car. It's, it's you know, it's like constructed inside to keep him safe. Yeah. But it's only constructed to keep him as the driver safe yeah. and not the passenger. Right, okay. You have to and he's got a weird fetish it. about murdering people with the car. Okay. Death proof. It's, uh, yeah, death proof. Death proof. Yeah. It's good. It's like, a, there was like a joint feature, wasn't yeah, it? It was death proof then, and Planet what? Terror. Planet Terror with, with the, the, girl machine, with the, the machine gun leg. That was kind of weird. Which is a bit bonkers. But it's it? got Danny Trejo in it, so... Death, yeah, I think I've only seen that one a couple one, of times. One death Proof was, was good though. Yeah, I just I love the style of that one. Um, I like Hateful Eight. I, love I really it, do like Hateful oh, yeah. Eight. It's brilliant. That's a good one. Yeah. Pulp Fiction classic, yeah. of course. Yeah. See, that was what I was going to say about the music because I sat all the way through going, hey Siri, who's singing this? <laughs> <laughs> Sing, Jimmy. I can't think of the track from Hateful Eight. Yeah, I can't think of the track from Hateful Eight. <laughs> yeah, Hateful Eight yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Well, yeah. yes, Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, but I always, I always have to. I'm just constantly asking the TV, and my fucking playlist is the most random <laughs> shit. But it's wicked. So basically, I've got a load of new music from watching that last night. But. Yeah. What did you watch last night? Inglorious Bastards. No, what? What's I'm going time in Hollywood? Oh, I lost my chain of thought. <laughs> 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 I watched the Irish movie the night. Have you seen that? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I like it. It's creepy again. though, isn't it? It's creepy because they don't well, look like the real actors. It looks like CGI. It is weird. And... Yeah, it is weird CGI. But it's better than Tron CGI with oh, Jeff yeah. Bridges. Yeah. Whose face was still doing weird things. Yeah. But I, I thought that was impressive. I thought that was quite impressive. Yeah. And I mean, it's it, that was a slow movie. It was. But I didn't yeah. mind it being slow because it was, it was kind of, it felt more like a celebration of those actors mm. as gangsters. Yeah, it was good. Because they're all kind yeah. of coming to the end of their careers, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. I just wanted yeah. it to be early. I wanted it to be when yeah. they were still, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it, heat times. Yeah. Heat, Scarface, mm -hmm. Casino, Goodfellas, just get them all together. Yeah. And then. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. The, um, I just don't know. I think, I think we're coming to like the end of an era where like those gangster movies are going to be all different people soon. Mm. And this, I mean, I know those guys are so typecast, but the, the guys that are in those Goodfellas, Godfather kind of movies, they're just like, that's, they're like a, like a set of perfect actors that played those yeah. roles. You mm. know? Yeah, for real. They're just in great. Like, what's his name? Um, Pesci. Pesci. Mm. Mate, but don't you think he looks awesome. like, can you remember them flannels you used to get in gift shops? And basically it'd be like a <laughs> shrink wrap, freeze dried flannel about this big with like the A team on it or something. And you'd have to put it in hot water and it'd slowly grow into like the flannel. You ever had that? You never seen Yeah, that? I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I've got no, no fucking I, idea I, I, how you made that connection with, oh yeah, yeah, that flannel looks like Danny Trejo. No, Joe, Joe, Danny Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Joe, he looks like, he looks like they didn't put Danny Trejo looks more like a flannel. To be fair, they both look like they've not had enough <laughs> moisture in the flannel to make it full. So Joe Pesci, it's like they've said, use, I don't know, a pint of water. And they were like, I'm going to go off a pint of water. <laughs> I put that in and he's sort of gone a bit swanny. just looks like a walnut. It's just it's a bit shriveled and a bit... So you call Joe Pesci a wrinkly, wrinkly walnut? He looked like someone shaved Gizmo off the Gremlins. Yeah, okay. Do you no, know okay, what I mean? I get that reference. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks... that, that, that reference is better. Yeah, he That's looks better properly done in. It's for saying, like, Kevin McAllister was terrified of him. Yeah. In both Home Alone. 
And he was fucking scary as shit in Goodfellas. <laughs> but now it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind That's of, it's sad to see. Yeah. And, and especially because he was trying to be young in that film. It's like, because you know what he looks like young. He just looks completely different. You know, may, maybe actually the next, the next gangster type movie that they make, they won't even need the actors at all. That's what I mean. I mean, mm. they, they, that anybody could play those roles yeah. and you just put Joe Pesci's face on them. <laughs> yeah, we're just super impressed. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, apparently he was dead weird with Stephen Graham because he wanted Stephen Graham's part in that film. Is oh, that right? Okay. Yeah, so the first you, you know, you know. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. He actually did a promo with, um, for the Fight UK that we ran with that Dominic Lombazidi backstage in character. That's oh, what, that's what oh, we used really? for the promotion of that. Yeah, and the change room. Yeah, really brilliant. good. He's a yeah, really yeah. good actor. Wasn't he Al yeah. Capone as well in, yeah. you know, in um, Boardwalk Empire? Yes, that was it. Boardwalk Empire. He's, he does loads. He's got a pretty good accent. He does, he does the, the American accent. Yeah, yeah. All of them. Yeah. But it's like, what's his name? Hugh Laurie plays House. Yeah. yeah. Most, most Americans don't realise that he's British. Right. Which is crazy because yeah. if you think back right. to um, what was it? Um, Jeeves and Worcester. Yeah, no. What what was the other show that they had? Which was their own names? Fly, Fry and a little bit of something. A little bit of Hugh and Laurie. Was that, that was it? Yeah. Like, that. yeah. like he's like or uh, was he? In, he was in Blackadder as well, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. Like, Blackadder. Proper, he's born yeah. with a monocle. Proper in his fucking eye. posh. Fuck? Oh, it's brilliant. That's a good actor. Yes, yeah. mm. that's, that's a good actor. Um. That took you off track, didn't it? Yeah, didn't it? Mm. Did you watch the fights this weekend? I, I watched some actually. For, what did you I watch? I best watch couple. Yeah, yeah. What did you watch? watch? You see the main event? Yeah, what main event. Dude. Yeah, one Sanchez. Um, what yeah. the fuck? Let's start yeah. with Sanchez. What the... F <clears throat> did you hear Trevor Whitman going on him as well? Yeah. Yeah, but he could have done with switching Trevor Whitman out for his guru corner man. Yes. Like, and, I, and, and I know, like this guy's, I've seen a few um, a few posts on uh, on Instagram from this guy and Twitter or whatever. Oh, this guy's re responding to people oh. that have been talking shit about him. What he's got to realise is he stepped into a world that he seems to have little idea about. Yeah. <laughs> he's what, good at making his code words. words. I, just, I, I just see some training video sure. yesterday getting some guy in a stance and like prodding him with it's, a finger and saying, you're weak here, you're weak here. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's a bit of that finger. It's like a mean girl. I don't know. Yeah. What? Like year 10 mean girl. <laughs> I don't mean prodding her with a finger, you dirtbag. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what his background I is. I don't know. But when, yeah, when, it, when you have one corner man that you call guru. Yeah. And nobody else knows who they are and no <laughs> one can name any other fighters that they've trained. That's mm. cause for concern. And when you, and the thing is, like this guy's getting criticism for the shit that he was saying in the corner. Yeah. Like, he, I he remember didn't listening. Give, he didn't give Diego no, any help. Any no, I read it back as well. Someone posted like a transcript. Yeah. I read it back. Yes, You're sticky. Yeah, You're sticky. sticky. I was, yeah, Thanks. sticky. Yeah, just a bit. There was just no no guidance at all, and Diego didn't didn't transfer any of whatever code word they were talking about mm. into nothing a performance. changed. Do you think no. it was code? Well, that's what I mean, Diego just, said. Oh, did it? Is that? Diego oh, said. right. It's just, okay. It was code. Right. But it's oh, it's just. It's dangerous. Mm. Yeah, it is. I mean, <laughs> is. the fact that Diego's in there is dangerous to a degree because the, he's too tough for his own good. Yeah. And it mm. was it was kind of heartbreaking at the end when the ref was saying to him, because obviously we'd already had a disqualification from a down mm. opponent being kneed in the head, which was fucking massive. Yeah. This one was bad, but it was almost like Diego was trying to convince himself it was okay to not carry on. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, well, it was, yeah, it was yeah. an illegal. Whereas... I know fight fans will sit there and be like, oh, he's carried on, he's super tough now. Yeah, that's brilliant. But realistically... In he knew he'd lost the fight. World, he knew he'd lost yeah. the fight as well. Well, that's yeah. it. I mean, it's a get out of jail free, right? Mm. I don't know. I would have fight. I would carry on fighting. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, And I think Diego at one point would have done as that's well, which what I mean. is why people were he's, more disappointed. It's not him anymore. You know? Well, like, he, what made that to think? Was his guru shouting anything? No, I just I just think... I, I don't know. I, I think he's... I think he's... <laughs> He knows. I it's money, isn't it? Head's gone. I think yeah, I don't, yeah. I, he's not. Well, in, he's random, not, really, he's yeah. not living in reality anymore, mm -hmm. is he? No. Let's be honest. He's just not. And he d he didn't look in. He didn't look in good condition. He didn't do anything particularly offensive that wasn't reckless. No. Like running forward, running with forward, his chin forward up, yeah. Just yeah, swinging. It was. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see because when you've got the rest of the cast of season one, and when you think how long they've been retired, and what they achieved, and what yeah. they've done, and what they've gone on to do, like. Florian's a good example. He's got a decent uh, afterlife, Forrest especially. And then Diego's essentially in that same sort of mix, not mentally, but from that era. Yeah. He's still fighting. And he and he's not looking like Chuck mm. or he's, he's not looking like he's just getting forward. No. Like, the problem is that with someone like BJ Penn, 
when someone says, oh, BJ's going to fight again, you just don't want to see it. Yeah. And that, mm-hmm. I don't want to see that happen. Chuck didn't want to see him fight Tito again. Just there's no need for that. Yeah. And but Diego's not. He's he's, he's stepping in de- there. He's had a couple of decent. When he goes to his wrestling, he's had some decent performances. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. A couple of decent. He's a yeah. good wrestler. Mickey Gall, Mickey Gall, yeah. White, White, Mickey Gall. He had then, a few in a row, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Two or three in a row. And he looked good going back to the wrestling. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. against no Chiesa, settle for the wrestling yeah. with that was it? it was no, just, I don't know. Just, but even against Kiesa, he wasn't an easy fight. It wasn't mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Kiesa went in there and just fucking walked it. He he won all the rounds, but it was still tough. So the problem is, is now that's gone down as a win, mm. we're probably going to see Diego fight again. Yeah. And it's just at the minute, he's, he's in this weird world and he'll probably try and convince himself that was a win. Because like, even his corner was like, you, you won the first round. Yeah. Think, what the no, fuck were yeah, you yeah, watching, yeah. I, don't won, yeah. I don't think he won a minute of the fight. No. I don't, I don't, no. I don't remember a, a point where, he, where he, he did anything particularly impressive. And, and Pereira, is, oh man, he was getting booed on his walkout doing that dance. I didn't see the walkout. Like they were, yeah. Right. He came out and he did this whole like, Dance fucking routine, and then he got his. This is mad, miss. Do it again. And then he got his, and then he got his corner team to join in, and they look so uncomfortable doing and like trying to smile along, like, right. and then everyone starts booing, right? And he's like, "I've committed to the fucking yeah. dance now. No, I'm gonna finish." Now. He's like, a bit crazy. It was, it was yeah. At least he didn't and take ha- his hair out and imitate. There's it. no way he's 26. Good oh. story though. Go on. In Chechnya, when I fought on Akmat you know, yeah. um, in front of Kadarov, went to like the banquet hall for a meal him on a throne and everything all proper and that, yeah. They do a judicial dance. It's quite a hardcore Muslim country. They do like a judicial dance, like all the women hovered, uh-huh. like, like gliding on the floor, very prim and proper. That nut jumps up, starts dancing and grinding into the women. Who? <laughs> him. <laughs> Pereira. Pereira. Pereira, mate. No. And he looked like, kind of like he wanted to kill him, wasn't he? <laughs> You're joking. So oh, Everyone just went like that and just watched it. <laughs> and he's like break dancing and going up to the women like this. Oh, then, no. Holy shit. Yeah. He's looking to be it's alive. Good. Yeah, it was Jeez. fun. It was fun. fun yeah, I always remember that. Crazy guy. Oh, Absolute crazy guy. Wild man. Yeah. But he mm. looks it. But he's like, the thing is, he won one win, one loss. One oh, DQ. Well, he is one two, and two. two do- yeah. So he's, he's the reminding one win was Danny Roberts. One of yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he, he looked, looked you know, astronomical, yeah. like insane. One near, one right hand. One yeah. yeah, dropped him. But you know, he reminds me a bit of like a Houston Alexander. You know, someone who comes in and just look. Can you remember Houston? Alexander? Was yeah, of course. Was it he man? Like a muscle man figure. Yeah. Was it just, Keith Jardine? It looked like he murdered choked, up him. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just grabbed Rape him. Great choker right hand. Great choker right hand. Bang, bang. Yeah, that's nah. So we don't we don't use that term anymore. No. Not Udo. no, no, no. That term that you just used, rape oh, That right. was a that was a Roganism oh. that he dropped into commentary that is just fucking oh. horrendous. I he put that in comms. Yeah, yeah Joe Rogan that, said yeah. that when Vandalay did it to, to uh, Jardine, Jardine again. Jardine. 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 Yeah, Jardine's been raped about his throat. throat. <laughs> it's very grabbable that throat. <laughs> oh, he's got a right throat on him. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a right throat on him. Where's your son? <laughs> nah, he's oh, all right. Don't worry about him. We're gonna be a bit busy, today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's chilling over there. I can't believe he said that on the. You can come and sit in, Junior. You just got to wear the bowler hat. That's the deal. Come and sit in, mate. You've got to look peaky blinders. Come and get involved. Did you watch the fight? <laughs> no. Too, you know busy, too busy on Fortnite. <clears throat> Is that oh, right? Fortnite. Oh, don't oh, get yeah. started on Fortnite. We're yeah. Mysteries all over it. Yeah. Xbox. Nah. Oh, that's a... You can cross for you now, no? You have to actually... Yeah. you got a new wing. I, sh- I, should, uh, <laughs> I should go live on Instagram just so people can see what you fucking look like. Yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. Come in front of the camera. Just go in front of you. Hello. <laughs> That's going to be mad out of focus. I think it'd be good. <laughs> the lizard people are back. <laughs> um, here we go. Come on. Yeah, come in. Come and sit in. Here come we go. On, boy. You can tell us about Michelle here Pereira. That's a good app. That's cool, man. Very nice. <laughs> cover your face. There we go. Um, yeah. So, what fights did you watch then? You watched yeah, the main so, event, co-main event. Yeah, yeah, and then a couple of others. Um, uh, I've gone blank. What do you think to Jan? What, what's what's what? What are his chances against? Uh, I don't know against, against John. I don't know. I don't know against Jones. No? Just, I, I, I don't, don't know. know. He's the last couple of times I've seen him. I mean, the thing is, you got to look at who he's just beat. Like, just go through a few of the people mm. that he's iced out. I mean, yeah, yeah, obviously. Rockhold for one, insane. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Jacare. You beat Jackery, you beat yeah. Rockhold. Who did he beat before that? Jimmy Manoa. Manoa's, yeah, he yeah. beat Manoa, didn't he? <clears throat> but yeah, he's, just, he's certainly, stepping up every single time. Yeah, he and certainly like, deserves a shot, doesn't he? I for think. real. You know but what I mean? He just seems, I don't know, the, all the power's there and everything's right. It just seems a bit more steady. 
Yeah, yeah. That, is that three fights in a row? I'm just pulling up his record now. Yeah, three fights in a row. He had that loss to Thiago Santos, and then he was on a, a four-fight win streak before that. Was so, the Santos short after? Was that quite a quick turnaround? It was oh, no. that. Well, September, got, Feb, no. He's, he's looked since, because he had that, he had those two back-to-back -back losses. He had that loss to Gustafsson, which I actually thought he looked good in. Yeah. He looked good in that fight. Yeah. Because he was, he was active, he was fighting back, he looked confident. And I think that's partly because there was no pressure on him. Yeah. Because people didn't expect him to win. No. Mm. So I thought he looked good in that fight. And then he lost to Pat Cummins, which, I mean, that was just a, like Yang can get caught up in slow fights sometimes. Like the Jacare fight was a really slow yeah. fight and they can get caught up in slow fights. My concern is that he does really well against people that come at him. Yes, you know what I mean. He does. He's like he's much better as a as a counter puncher. Like the first time he fought Anderson, he went after him, and he and he after one takedown, he gassed in the first round, and he really started to struggle against fighters who come to him and are aggressive. He looks better because he's got good counter striking, good uppercuts, good hooks, good right hands, good body kicks to follow up, good takedown defense, and good good attacks off his back as well. So it's like he's always better if somebody's pressuring him. Yeah. And I just, I don't think John will engage him. No, no, no. that's what I mean. You know what I mean? I don't think he's going to be there long enough to catch one of them big ass. Yes. No. He'll just kind of, easy, what? I just think yeah, he'll just kind of hang push. back and just kind of poke and... That's it. And, yeah. And it could it could be a very frustrating Anthony slow Smith fight. kind of slow, fight. Slow, yeah. slow sort of fight, yeah. 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 I think he wants a shot in it, but Definitely. again, I don't think it's going to be the bomb burner. No. No. Well, good knockout. Good low kick trade on him, man. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. He is good, Jan. He's, he, he's underestimated and he, he is good. Um, but I just John Jones just fucking poke at people from a distance it's just that speed it's yeah. that speed and intensity that before you've even got in there your head's already fucked a little bit because mm -hmm. it's John Jones mm -hmm. you can't ever get past that but then the fact that when he in, like he just imposes his will and just pushes it even if he's not doing anything you're always on edge and like Jan seems to need to settle down a little bit and he just yeah. takes it once he's settled down I mean the, he just folded Corey the second the second shot he was already done Right, he yeah, was done yeah, from yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, yeah, the, the initial knockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The trade, the trade, weren't it? Seen that a few times. Now's like what knocks out of that every week, didn't he? Mm -hmm. From like, Dover, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. What did you what think of the? Uh, did you watch the Nathaniel Wood fight? Yeah, yes. yeah, watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looked amazing. Good up yeah, to that point, yeah, he did. Amazing. He did. I don't think this. I, I, obviously, he wanted to win, but I don't think he was doing no arm. No experience. Was he four in? Was he four into the UFC? Yeah, like four yeah, fight win like, streak. Yeah, yeah. still going to be a future superstar, isn't he? You yeah. know what I mean? Look, men, I think he'll grow from it. And well, the undefeated thing is that lifted off him as yeah, well a bit. Less now. pressure. Yeah. And yeah. I was saying to Jimmy before we were recording. Remember when Bisping went in to fight Rashad, and they were both undefeated, mm. and one of their O's had to go. And obviously, to be fair, Bisping when he fought Hamill and won. I yeah. thought he actually yeah. beat Richard more than he beat Hamill. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's one of them. Yeah. But he still, he lost it. And it's sort of, not that you can ever take Bisping's chip off his shoulder because we need it to be there because it's a permanent fixture. <laughs> but it sort of, it got fine-tuned a little bit at that point because, and I think it, it might have been him or, was it Matt Hughes or GSP that said when they lost the belt, it was just, oh, thank fuck for that. Yeah. It's gone. Fuck me. Mm. And I think sometimes, like we saw night Nathaniel Wood, he doesn't seem to have a big ego, doesn't seem to have any sort of, problem in that world but his rise has been really good and mm -hmm. really impressive so there's a lot of pressure and against someone like Dodson who some could discount recently I mean he's beat Dillashaw I mean he's looked good and he's mm -hmm. done well he's he had a wicked first fight against DJ he's, yeah. he's always he's always turned up and I thought that Wood was beating him I get yeah, I, yeah, I was I giving it to Wood and the thing was because on comms again not to throw out spoiler alert fucking Ollie I'll get on to you in a minute. But while I was watching the main card, they were like, oh yeah, this is a specific comment about this fight. But not only that, John Dodson won earlier. Thanks, lads. I haven't fucking watched it. So then I forgot that John Dodson was fighting Wood. And so then when I put the prelims on, I instantly was like, oh, fuck. So when it got to the third round, I was like, can't be a decision because they were screaming about it in comms. They were yeah. giving it fucking Charlie Big Potatoes. So before you knew it, I then see Wood gets like bingo, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, it was impressive. Yeah, it was. An, it was a early, good knockout. Early, a little bit early. I don't know. Maybe, so, a, maybe a, a tiny bit. I had a few bit. messages on Twitter asking with me whether early, it was yeah. early. I, I don't know. I mean, I need to watch it back, but yeah, he was standing up. I don't know. The thing is, well, he was standing up, but he like he'd taken, and you know what he's like. Like some fighters, you just know they're going to autopilot fight yeah. until they're completely out. 
Like and that that fight against Josh Reed, which I talked about in the war room that we did for it. Like oh, yeah. the punch that he landed on Josh Reed, if I remember clearly, he well, wasn't it even him looking off and... at Josh Reed when he threw that punch. Mm -hmm. Like he was he was on autopilot. He was dazed. He threw that punch like the, yeah, that yeah. was a Bumble that was cage, a right haymaker. It? Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, yeah, and, he, I and he won the fight with it. Yeah, he, when he got knocked down, he was dazed. As soon as he hit the, the canvas, he was in autopilot and he started to scramble. Then Dodson moved around him and landed two more shots to the side of his head and then his face hit the canvas. Yeah. Mm. As soon as someone's face hits the canvas, yeah, yeah. especially once they've been down, I, I don't mind a stoppage around then. I don't, I don't mind it, especially with him, you know, at the stage of his career. Yeah, he's young. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we don't but need to what see about Dodson's get... chin? I mean, he caught two big old mm. slaps on the yeah. way in. Yeah. Yeah, he's quick as well, Dodson. He's very, he's very, he's very too quick. quick. That's the problem. Very, very he's quick. ridiculous. It's like a glitch. Yeah. On Wreck It Ralph. Have you seen Wreck It Ralph? Yeah. You know the little glitch in that. Yeah. He's yeah, like that. John isn't he? Dodson is though, dear. John Dodson's yeah. a magician, mate. It's good. Mate. Jim will get him around to your next birthday party. <laughs> mm, yeah. Maybe some blue animals and that. Yeah. <laughs> he's only little. What about the other illegal need? Did you watch that, dude? No. Brock Weaver against Kazula Vargas. I like Kazula Vargas. He's intense. He is, especially he's got when he's of... kneeing you in the face. He yeah. literally <laughs> ironed him out. He sort of went clink. Bad yeah, yeah, bad, was mate. Was like bad, horrific. Like, was, you know, not in any, not in any jurisdiction around the world would that be a legal knee unless you were under prior rules. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For, oh, it's wow. like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like you know them cherry pies you get from Morrison's. Yeah. It's like someone had punched one of them. Oh wow. <laughs> it it just sort of went. It just went from sort of. Gathering right. his thoughts, just <laughs> fully filling him in. Fully out, fight over straight up again, He was up against the fence. He was getting, trying to get back up to his feet and just out of I think I've seen a, a little clip, but I haven't watched it properly. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah, out, it was bad. I realise he'd gone out yeah. cold. Right. Vargas, then, it, Vargas is a bit, he's, he's intense though. Like, he's you know, intense and the other one's a, a warrior, isn't he? And he's fully yeah. from the warrior. He had the full spirit. headdress, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he was full. wicked. Ah, yeah. that fight. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But they went from him being, like, he wasn't mad. He was just, I don't, I don't want to win this way. I don't want to win this way. And the other guy didn't seem to do anything, did he? Just Vargas was just like, <laughs> yeah. He was, he was like, just, maybe say sorry. Yeah. You know, like that kid that never apologizes. And his mum's like, I don't know why I won't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he just don't do anything I say and it's like well <laughs> why don't, stop fucking just make him apologise no he won't do it it's like make him apologise and he didn't seem to be bothered he was just more like he's been caught out yeah he was he was just there angry. are cameras there dude he was just angry I, like, I, this, I get that frustration though because like in the heat of a fight I mean I've never I've never illegally need someone in the head in that position well look at Paul Daly and Koscheck. Well, that, that's different. That side, that that side of things. <laughs> then performances. That, that's different. That fight was finished. <laughs> no, I mean, when the knee, lead, not the oh. illegal punch. I got kneed against Gono, first, uh, third round. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I got kneed up against the fence. I was down on a knee. And that was back in the yeah. day. I can't remember last week. You been... <laughs> <laughs> can't remember last week. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, Baron? Yeah, yeah. Was it? Yeah, well, I don't remember finishing the fight. Oh, really? Yeah. But then, but then there's a few fights like that. Yeah. Do you remember starting the next one? <laughs> oh man! Yeah, that's yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Knocked it straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, was, I always, was, I always credit J Jimmy for my uh, my getting into the UFC because mm. I'd have lost that fight to Vaishal if you weren't in my corner. I think you reckon? Yeah. So is that when the contract yeah. was on the table? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to tell that story? Little, have you heard, have bit, you heard that just story? Just a little bit of pressure. Have you heard it? It's wicked, isn't it? Have yeah. I told that? Have I told this story on the podcast? I think we've told all the podcast stories on <laughs> all the podcasts, yeah. but it's all right. This is a flashback from podcast number three or something. Then, mm. yeah. So it was what was it? Ultimate Ultimate, ultimate Force, ultimate right? Force Doncaster. In Doncaster, Doncaster yeah. Dome. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'd beaten Reiner, Chad yeah. Reiner, and yeah. I'd, I'd got my contract. Through, Andy brought your contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I'd already accepted that fight. Was that two weeks later? Yeah, it was close. Very it was close. Right? Yeah. Later. So my contract had come through between. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because I'd already committed to it. People yeah, yeah, already, absolutely, you know. yeah. Um, and most, a lot of people wouldn't. Yeah, but... A lot of people wouldn't. No, I suppose. Yeah, no, if you got you a know, contract. UFC, table, uh, UFC contract's on the table and you... Joe Silver did call me. He yeah. was like, he's like, you know the contract's gone if you lose this fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So good opponent. Don't you yeah, worry. Good Daniel opponent Weichel. as well. Yeah. Weichel, good opponent. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Strong, strong fighter, especially yeah. at that lightweight now. And Dan left his head in the changing rooms for a bit. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> did you go just, back and get it for him? I went quick? and got it for him in between the round. Yeah, yeah I went and got his yeah. head. Yeah. yeah, it was like sometimes, and this is this is the difference between a good cornerman. We were going, we were talking about cornerman earlier. Mm. Like sometimes a good cornerman doesn't need to give you technical advice. They just need to say the right thing. Mm. 
And that was that was the right thing at the right time. It was what yeah. was it, you Owen and Nathan in my corner? More than likely. And, yeah, I know, yeah. And it so. was after the first round, and they had that like Toblerone shaped pad up against the fence in the corner, uh, up against the fence on the between. Floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you couldn't get your foot all yeah, the way up yeah. against the yeah, fence. You, you, you're picking your ankle you kept, out I kept all the time. dragging my ankle yeah, away from ankle the fence, and it, it was that like because you're so far out. Yeah, and it was that like plastic top. Yeah, slippy, yeah. sweaty. Yeah. So it was just and yeah. my foot was just sliding along, and I could never get my foot, my leg close enough to the That's fence right. to stop him doing it. Um, so he'd like drag my leg out. I'd be up against the fence and he'd start trying to time up in like Dars chokes and anacondas. Yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, he was doing, Attacking yeah, my neck yeah, constantly. Dude, that, that that fit. Chased it, weren't he? Yeah. Knew what, he, he knew what was at stake for him as well. Yeah. Huge for him, wasn't it? You know what I mean? And I was just like... Yeah. yeah was I it was, during the round? Or? No, it was, he it was right at the end of the round. Right at the end of the first round. I looked I looked through the... Because it, like it was like a different kind of mesh, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember that. And I looked around, I looked at you and you went... You went what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that was it. It was like, what, what the fuck are you doing? And yeah, acknowledge me. I'm like, yeah, acknowledge yeah. me. Like, acknowledge me. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. And then and then you went, if you're on the floor next time, just grapple with him. Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. And then, Good so job. I did. He came Good out. Job. Well done, Jim. Six skills. <laughs> he just it. sold me as a world class coach then. Cheers, Dan. <laughs> Six silk. Just sub him. <laughs> just Six sk skills. I said silk. That's you from earlier. You? <laughs> my sick <laughs> coaching, not my sick silk, you Don't piece of shit. Him. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Who's this shit? You. Stop ripping me. I'm I'll here. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, this? Yeah. yeah it was this is this is all right, mate. This it is all right. Uh... No six six later. <laughs> no, I knew I was coming just tattooed on. on. I knew I was coming on. Yeah, just got tattooed on. Tattoo <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. Yeah. That's for Truman. My next Saturday. That's just for Truman. Oh, fuck Truman. <laughs> fuck you and all. <laughs> we'll take it. But yeah, yeah, my yeah, amazing right. coaching skills. No, it was yeah. it was the it's right information. Right right but yeah, it was just... no, but it, it wasn't just that though, because then it, you, you remember he came out. I've never seen that fight back. So this really? is all Me off memory. It's probably entirely different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some VHS somewhere. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But then he came out. He came out in the second round. Did the same thing. Rushed me up against the fence. Took me down against the fence. And then, but then that, this time, instead of me, instead of trying to get him? back up, I swept him. Yeah, in he swept guard. him. Yeah, swept yeah. him. Grappled with him. <laughs> Did some grappling. Swept him and fucked him. No. <laughs> Done. Contract, Done. please. There you go, man. Yeah, Coach I swept him from Coach half guard bottom to half guard top. And go. I was hitting him with elbows and he was, oh, yeah. he was blocking his head. And yeah. you shouted, his body's open. Yeah, that was it. Opened him up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah so yeah. I hit him to the body with an elbow and dropped his arm. That was it. And that then was he it. turned away. And then I see that was see I seen a window there. World nice. class coach. See that was a good coaching. That was. Good. See yeah. how many years ago was Save that? Save that. Cheers, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's know, ten weird. years. Oh no, he's got twelve. More than no, that. it's got to be longer than that. Yeah, I made my debut in two thousand and eight. Oh, you bastard! Hang on. What so it was. We're talking. That's twelve years. Yeah, we're talking. Like, yeah, it was twelve. It must have been twelve years ago. It must have been early two thousand and eight. Because I made my debut in October. Wow. There you yeah. go. See? Old. Hashtag yeah. old man. Hashtag old. If you had <laughs> young <laughs> raptorings then. I saw, I saw mm. Paul, uh, Paul uh, Reed Rigel Paul um, posted the other day and uh, we need to start using this hashtag old man pads. Old man <laughs> he was, pads. He was hitting pads. <laughs> old man pads are yeah, way yeah, different. Yeah, I think I've seen pads. that actually. Yeah, 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 yeah I think I've seen that. that. Yeah, it looks all right. Old yeah, man yeah. pads are a different thing, lads. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're definitely oh, a different no. thing. We don't want to do we it on that hashtag. hashtag. What incontinence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like rifle reptile. Yourself. Old man pads. Old man pads. Don't do that. <laughs> no. Tenor man. No, I'm not getting man. in touch. Tenor man. Yeah, you guys yeah. just pull them out, fucking big snake raptors on it. Like, oh. <laughs> when the raptor goes orange, change your pad. <laughs> You're drinking too much tea, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like <Shit>. sugar puffs. <laughs> yeah, no We're not man, having old no man pads. No old man pads. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piss and biscuits. That's problems. Jeez. Oh, yeah, don't yeah. use that. No. Well, that's yeah. a good coaching point. Good lad. Yeah. That was good. So you've done that. Yeah. I've drawn a logo. We're fucking all... That's it about there, isn't it? Yeah. See, I, there. I, was, I was never as good at coaching. I was really good at draining cauliflower ears and fixing noses, though. Mm. And I've got a better lot of time, so... <laughs> <laughs> and he's become a better coach, so it's all good. There you go. Yeah. It's all gone full circle. We're balancing. We're balancing. <laughs> we're balancing. Yeah. it back in. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what was good on the card. Go on. Macy... Is it Chasen? Macy Chasson. Chasson. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Against... Sean, well, wow, Sean Young. It was Young. a good fight. It was a good short, fight, generally. Short notice, that yeah. first round was fucking brilliant. That question mark kick. They just yeah. came out firing. Brilliant. And especially because I'd watched, I'd gone main that I'd watched after Ollie ruined it. Um, <laughs> do, you want, do you want to get that out of your system? Because you're going to keep circling back Well, the back spoiler to thing, everyone knows me <sighs> in spoilers. And you know that I'm very disciplined when it comes to looking at my phone. So I won't read anything. But then, because it was 
work related to a degree because I don't really get often get tagged in a full reptile post unless I do it myself because I don't know how many people know this in, in full reptile collective the core element there is five people me you wad ollie and dean ollie's dead to me now so <laughs> That so, work? so there are just oh, four. four. And exactly. Dean lives on the other side of the yeah, world in Dean's a coronavirus right. pool, so we might be down to three soon. <laughs> so what did you say? Did you say he's corona up? What did you say? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he, I, said, oh. I said he's on the other side of the world oh. in a coronavirus pool. Oh, yeah. right, right. <laughs> he, he wasn't doing the um, J-check thing, so you can rewind. I did, look, I did love that little bit of news the other day I put in the group, though, about the... Uh, they, they think the reason the, the, for the coronavirus is that people have been consuming pangolin scales, which is an endangered species. How badass is that from the pangolin? Love it. Or just sat there like ghosts, like Love the it. end of Star Wars, just looking down like, mm, well, <laughs> yeah. shouldn't have fucking eaten my scales, should you? <laughs> yeah. Dickhead. Yeah. 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 Right. The, the, there's, there's like this whole alternative medicine thing in China where they want to consume like rhino horns and fucking... Mm. It's Tiger a full cops Pied and that Piper kind of stuff. Though, right? You know, someone's just sat there thinking, I've got no money. I have got no... Obviously, in a, in a Chinese environment, thinking Chinese, not rough English. And I've got no money. I need some money. And they, like, pick something random up, like their dog's toenails, and go, ah, <laughs> you should smoke this. It will make you better. And then yeah, but it's, it's, never, it's never something that's... It's never something like toenails. It's always something that's endangered. Yeah, heart. That's like, yeah. yeah, something needs to die horrendously yeah. for it. I need this dodo heart <laughs> to put in a smoothie. <laughs> yeah. So did it work? Oh, I don't know. You can never really tell. <laughs> How many dodos? It's just piles of fucking dodos they're not using because they've just had the heart. Dickheads. <laughs> just, and I know there's the whole like meat eating thing and not, but uh, it's a bit different when you yeah, use the whole Fucking like, Adol Fox there over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not setting up camps to put them in. I'm just saying, like, stop eating random shit. And like, when you chop like a shark's fins off oh, that's, and that's then that's just drop awful. it back in and they're like... <laughs> Yeah. So I'm a fucking hot dog now. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks. That's, that's all like, at least kill it and eat the whole thing. Yeah. Don't just take you know, the tits I, I off. Have, I have a video that's stuck in my fucking head and I wish I'd never seen it and I can never get it out. But it was a, it was a, it was a, a woman in Japan sitting in a restaurant eating this bowl with frog's legs as part of the bowl. But the frog without its lower body was still in the bowl and alive. I think I might have seen that myself. Oh, what the fuck's I think that I might about? Have seen that. Like yeah. what? Like yeah, there's what's... some strange eating habits going. On. That's not, not strange. For a week. That's, yeah. that's he stays like, Daddy, what does that frog think? <laughs> yeah, to... yeah, yeah. I think, oh, think mum's got him on her phone. If you want to watch it, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's not strange. That's no. that's that's evil, in it. Yeah, but that's, that's the type of thing evil. you want to do back to them people. Like if you're gonna ki if you're gonna kill something to eat it, just just put it out of its misery mm. quick. Yeah, yeah, straight away. Like as as quickly and as pleasantly as possible. If that's you know what I mean? Kill, yeah. Kill gonna, it pleasantly. Yeah, if someone was going to eat me, you know what I mean? If someone fancied a chunk of one of my fucking quads. Oh, you're yeah. edible, you are and all. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, Actually, tattoos. Tattoos, <laughs> no. Tattoos. tattoos don't taste very good, so we're all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Junior, you need to get some tattoos yeah, get quick because cannibals are going to eat you, my friend. Cannibals are going to eat you, mate. Mm. Yeah. Do you know Mystery likes yeah. eating people? <laughs> I was going to say children. Eat, I thought, say, that's going to sound yeah. mad weird, isn't it? Oh, oh, you're a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> fucking come here, son. I'll look after you. Watch that strange looking fucker over there. <laughs> he wasn't named after Savile, it's just a coincidence. It's the same name. From... <laughs> Don't call him Jimmy. Don't, Don't like call him Jimmy. Jesus. <laughs> oh. I can't even remember what I was saying before. That. No, I'd know that's good. Sorry. No, we're, we're, we're. good, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> six silver for Sarge. Six silver for Sarge. I think you're just jealous, mate. <laughs> Very. No, Beyond jealous. You know what I mean? Beyond jealous. I know you're wearing a plain t shirt just to be I safe, knew. aren't you? Listen, ah, I knew you've I done that in That's it. That's it. We're going to do this on. Superimpose it on. Not wearing the six silver. On. I was actually contemplating hiring a tux. <laughs> hiring a tux. Hiring a fucking tux. Whereabouts? Is that all right? Just about there. Is that okay? Okay. Oh, his mic's are calling him a pedo. <laughs> yeah. I was contemplating. Unplugged his mic. I was Fuck contemplating wearing a tuxedo. I was on the way out. I was going to hire a tuxedo, but I thought I couldn't be asked. But, but look, like, look a bit but, weird, like Dan's hiding uh, from them butlers. Dan's cleaning in the, the nude. Just, just in a like, chip in a tuxedo. Cups. I thought I'd put a tuxedo on it. <laughs> we should do that. Mm, we should yeah, do a fire a fancy, companion, full three piece. A fancy podcast. Yeah. yeah. A fancy podcast. I'll rock a three piece, mate. I smash it. I was talking about Ollie. That's what I was doing. Yeah, it don't fit me. Oh, that piece of shit, yeah. <laughs> Ollie, yeah. I was burying Ollie. That was it. <laughs> My head's massive, isn't it? <laughs> All right, fucking sweet. You know, we're yeah, wearing that. 
<laughs> and Goddard being Donkey Kong on a, looks like on a, a thimble. <laughs> looks like a thimble. <laughs> looks like a what? A thimble? You look like... <laughs> no, th- no, thimble, Jim, with a T-H. Yeah, Jim, dick it. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 my... You look like... Yeah, no, it, honestly, it don't, it don't look any better on my head, honestly. Who's no. that chef it's, from the 80s? Was it Mother's Pride, that little cartoon? <laughs> that one yeah. he took a bowler yeah, hat off and it was a mixing bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't look any better It fits you better than Jimmy. Only a bit. Let me try it. It's going to be... Wipe my head then. Wipe my head if I'm not... <laughs> a fluffy head. Yeah, you can you can get away with that. Yeah. Like, you li- you could literally yeah. just rock up wearing that. Tiny brain and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a top hat. A, a bowler hat. A <laughs> top hat. I am a top hat. I know that. Cheers, I was... Th- I, did I tell you where I got that from? You I didn't. got it from... Uh, you know if it's someone that was dead on the side of the road now? <laughs> no, I'm cursed. No, it was... Um, I was dropping a bunch of stuff off when I was leaving Los Angeles to move to Las Vegas. I was dropping loads of stuff off at Goodwill that I wasn't taking with me. And as I was unloading all this stuff out the back of my, my van, there was, a, some swaps. There, was this, there was this big black guy unloading stuff and helping me out. And he was wearing it. And I'm like, nice hat, dude. And he was like, yeah, it just came in. I put it on. I think I might keep it. And he was like, ah, oh, well, if you don't, I'll buy it. And he was like, hmm, there you go, $20. So that's where. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I just well, gather shit from around the world like that. It's, my whole house is filled with that kind of stuff. Yeah, you got some quirky cool stuff there. That's cool. <coughs> oh, look at that. That's cool, man. Yeah, all about the bowler, mate, now. I want to buy a fedora. Stacey's car a little bit. Oh, I was really? looking at Brixton fedoras the other day, and she was like, F- you look like a prick. <laughs> and I was like, we're 21 years together, darling. You're not going to think much difference unless I come back looking like fucking Ryan Reynolds, are you? <laughs> Even Deadpool Ryan Reynolds should take. <laughs> like, no mask. It's definitely upgrade. Yeah, full blister. Upgrade, yeah, yeah, full blister fuck. She'd go for it. But, yeah, so... <laughs> I'm looking for a fedora if anyone's got one. Is that about medium? <laughs> Ollie, fuck face. So I'm, I'm on Instagram yesterday morning. And then there were four. There was four, right? <laughs> so there's four of us. So I know he's listening to this. And basically, I got tagged in a post. Monkey chops, four reptiles tagged you in a post. I was like, oh shit, work. That's important. No one ever tags me. So I jumped on. And the first thing was just Jan stood there looking sick in our tracksuit and was like, big love to the Polish power knockout first round like almost time stamped it <laughs> yeah Ollie tell him that's how a dog calls Ollie a cunt <laughs> so I clicked it and it just showed me the instant like what's it fucking the results so I texted him I was like our spoilers looking he was like I was just trying to do the tagging people you know yeah, yeah. maximise the exposure I was like Ollie the shop is quite famously closed <laughs> What time was it? Sunday morning, 7am Sun- or something? Well, it's not been open for a couple of weeks because we've oh. been upgrading stuff and changing oh. stuff. So obviously not quite famous. Yeah, Cheers, we need Jim. to get Jimmy some stuff. Yeah, keep saying it. It's expensive. You know. <laughs> yeah. If you come down, you can do a Cheers. supermarket sweep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just do a trolley desk through my office. Yeah, yeah. I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go straight for the PC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah no. oh, just have it. Uh, what, Don't, what are you doing with computers? Just yeah. have it, mate. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Yeah. Tell us. Is this your monitor? Yeah. That's not my office chair. <laughs> Ramshack your fucking Sam's office. Yeah, no, I'm good as mate. Don't paint a picture. I'm a good lad. I've always been a good boy. Mate, well, to be fair, this morning, you know, Horsley, so where my office is, is very picturesque, beautiful little village, and there's one road where I have to get to work. And halfway in. Shut up. <laughs> Micro up, at least. That's there you go. Right. She's asking if you want some dinner, Junior. You look like you're wasting I thought away. I she was saying, do you think Ollie's a cunt as well, Junior? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's already... <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. completely. Lad, son, I trained you well. <laughs> do you look like a lumpy biscuit? <laughs> you know which one that is? The ugly one with the bald head. <laughs> used to be dense, but now he's shrunk a lot. He's gone real skinny. And looks, looks like Ross Kemp, but he's had too many yeah, Ross Kemp blue smarties. Yeah, Ross Kemp, who's a little bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> he's got yeah. the mumps in his yeah. ears. You know what you're going on about? Yeah, yeah. You poor people don't know what we're talking about. We'll have to put a picture of Ollie. Yeah, it's going to be a pic on it now. All the, so all the new websites just going to be pictures of Ollie in varying degree of his hair loss. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He upset me, mate. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mate, you can't send spoilers to Owen. It kills me. It's right? serious shit. Honestly. It's, it's Honestly. serious shit. And it's my own fault because I never check, <clears throat> but because it was just because <clears throat> it was work. <clears throat> but I still love him. <laughs> And his ears. <laughs> no, he's receding airline. <laughs> oh, you said that. You've started me off now. <laughs> just because you got Diego's hair, dude. Oh, yeah, but that's it. Oh, I ain't got no Diego's hair, mate. Nothing on my hair. Diego went full tilt villain off like Roger Rabbit, didn't he? You know, when he, his, <laughs> you know, he falls in the dip and his eyes come out and his hair goes all like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how have I got that hair? Who the fuck are you on about? Well, yours is like a brushed version. Okay. 
It's a lot smarter. Mine's not. not mine. We need to get you, you a stick are, on beard, you know Junior. The fine words of a famous guy. That we, <laughs> You've got right more of a Diego Sanchez here. Yeah. Hang on a Mate, minute. It's yeah, gone. there you go. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I, went to a, I went to a funeral and I had my hair cut and I actually brushed my hair on Tuesday. And <laughs> that was the last time. That's the last time I brushed my hair. It was because <laughs> I just put a hat on. And basically... Six days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you sink a bit and all you had a yeah, bath no <laughs> no. <laughs> no your mum's got no hot water anyway <laughs> my, I was there. my mum's in oh I'm not I'm not breaking up a fight between you two no no no, no we're just going to cuddle <laughs> so I, had my, I brushed my hair and this one woman came up to me I've not seen her for years and she went oh you look very smart you school said, thanks. you school all right she said you look like a young Alan Sugar and I was like I don't is know that, what the fuck to do with that is that a compliment I don't know <laughs> I don't know but she, she looked like she was battling some sort of terminal illness, so I couldn't really, I couldn't really have a go. But I text Davy Croft. So basically, one of the people who follow Full Reptile, good lad, and he was talking to me that morning. So I messaged him. I was like, someone just called me. This was the day after. A young Alan Sugar. And so he then texted me back a picture of a young Alan Sugar and was like, got to be honest, mate, it's not the weirdest first Google search I've done of a day, <laughs> which got me thinking, what's the weirdest thing? Like, you know... If, I mean, if anyone found your phone, Jim, you'd be arrested. But <laughs> did you ever, have you ever thought that? That's like, mistress' phone, mate. Not mine. <laughs> Same number. You're getting the shit kicked out of this time. You haven't even got a mic in front of your face to say anything back. You're not bothered. He's accepting of all of it. He's just whatever. Yeah, that's it. But like, <laughs> oh, okay. That's mate. bad, isn't it? Mm, what do you reckon? It looks like him. <laughs> so what were you going to ask what's the, what's the weirdest Google yeah, search like, weirdest you know thing. if someone grabbed your computer after like even 45 minutes of a day that you've already been on and looked for something <laughs> <laughs> you've got some bad ones haven't you <laughs> what putting fingers behind your back of that <laughs> what's already doubled over because he's already seen your search results for that <laughs> <laughs> not me mate I'm good as gold pal Good as gold. Good as gold. Good as Make gold. Make eye contact with your son when you say that. Good as gold, son. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Where are searches? I think mine's searches? normally spawned from something else. Like I, go onto, I go onto Instagram or something. Where searches? And it'll say <laughs> someone's done something. So then I start back searching that and like looking into what's happened with Screech from Saved by the Bell or something. Do you know what I mean? Screech by Saved by the Bell from Saved by the Bell's got Johnny Knoxville tattooed on his ear. And I'm like, oh, fuck, got to see that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just random shit. I don't interact with the internet enough in these ways. I search what I need to know and I don't, I don't, yeah, yours is I don't browse. More, yeah, yours is probably more logical. Mine's a bit <laughs> fucking stupid. A bit. But yeah, it was one of them. It got me thinking and so I thought, <clears throat> yeah. Weird searches. I can't, I don't know. All your searches are fucking weird searches, Jimmy. Uh, you reckon? What was the last thing you searched for? No, best fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was, Dumpling wrappers. A young from... Alan Sugar, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Young, that's the weirdest thing you've searched for. That's the weirdest thing. Don't make that trend. <laughs> Everyone who's watching the Bandersnatch. Holidays, look, holidays, 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 you holidays, 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 yeah. holidays. Where are you going? Holidays, John Dodson, the Money Award. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, not that one. I don't know. No. <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm not saying all the shit that's in there. That's not even bad. Don't what? say it, son. But you know don't say that. this. You know what I mean? Don't say it, but you can read it. You can say it in Spanish. Oh, oh brilliant. Holidays, yeah. just holidays. 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 All I ever do is look at holidays. My eyes are somewhere I'm looking at. That's all I do, look at holidays. How far are you dreaming? I just want to go back to Disneyland. Disney World, love it. Oh, really? Just trying to figure place. out how to do it. It's a lovely yeah. place. That's it, isn't it? That's all I ever do, isn't it? Is it pretty much is. Genuinely, I cheers to Michael Weirdo. I do the Mrs. Eddie, and I'm just like... I found it two grand cheaper. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a bit of a saving. It's, it's a bit of a saving. That's, that's all I do, mate. Saving. With money like happy, that, you could happy, buy yourself happy, a fedora. Happy place. <laughs> Love it there, mate. Love it there, mate. Mystery likes it there, I know. It is a good place to go. It is, it is a lot of fun. I spent two weeks there after I fought GSP. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I drove yeah, down. Yeah. I drove from... Uh, I'm talking about it you said about it the other day? Was it Daniel? I remember. What name? Oh, no, we were talking about soaring. We were talking about the, uh, um, that big, not, the not soaring, like cutting a tree down. The ride? Yeah, the ride, yeah. Yeah, soaring around the it's world. Down, it's Epcot. downtown Disney um, Oh, in uh, <clears throat> at the Orlando thingy. The ride, soaring? Yeah, that's what it's called. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i talking, oh. oh, geez, that's 10 years ago. <sighs> that seems like a long, that seems mm. like, like not too long ago. It might not be there anymore. Mm. So, like I'd been to Disney a couple of times with my parents when I was in my early teens, 
But then after the GSP fight, I went back and they'd built at downtown Disney this like five story arcade. Right. And it was just every floor was like arcade games, video games, Dude. like like uh, air hockey and just fucking that that was that was air hockey. That was yeah, it was good. Just all I kinds mean, of meant, shit. I mean, you know, like, I want it. <clears throat> No, but I'm not very he's fast. not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your fingers off. <laughs> but that Saurian was was the thing we were talking about, which was like a, it's like is it, is it a velodrome? What they're called, where you're like there's a fucking massive screen. A and, 3D cinema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Saurian, and you go yeah. around the world. But you, yeah, and you're sitting yeah, in the Epcot, thing, and it kind of is that where it is? Yeah, Epcot. Oh, like a big that when you're Epcot. Like, you're saying, like, around the world. Uh, Epcot. And you go like through yeah. the desert and the jungle and all that. You get this, you it would make sense this, that my memory was kind of my. When did yeah. you last, <laughs> last year? Last year, yeah, yeah. And you went. Yeah, saw him was at Epcot. Yeah. Pretty sure Epcot. Yeah, two weeks it's after I've though. been punched in the head a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was someone knocking at the door. And was, knees. I thought it was all fighting. <laughs> I thought what a job she's got. Saying, yeah, that was good. Yeah, saw <clears> him. <throat> it is cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, place. It's very cool. Wicked place. Best What's your favorite park? Your favorite Disney park? Ooh, mine or your your favorite? What's your favorite Disney park, Junior? Universal. Universal. Yeah. That's which ride? Disney, but no, that's fine. That's all right. <laughs> that's <laughs> Universal. Though, what's your favorite? What's your favorite ride at Universal? The Hulk. I did the Hulk three Hulk. times. Mm. Twice. What's the Hulk like uh, over here? Is it like anything that we've got? No. Uh, no. no. It's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Really? Yeah, it's good. I like how old. And they don't oh. break, break down as much. <laughs> and they don't break down. <laughs> <laughs> have a dig. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag Alton yeah. Towers. Sell Alton Towers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, hey. that's what he wants to come and see you. Awesome. That's why. Do you like to come and all of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I loved all of it. Tower of Terror. Do you like yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, that's my way he was scared to death. Oh, is that, is that right? the one yeah. where you're in the elevator? Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it drops. drops yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. That scares that one, didn't it? Just flips your stomach, no? Did you do uh, Aerosmith? The one yeah, that yeah, yeah. You? That's the indoor roller the coaster roller right coaster. near Tower of Terror. What's it called? Do you know what Aerosmith is? Rock and Roller. That's it. That's the one. Do you know what Aerosmith is? I love that one. Remember how you walked into it? What you have to do? Remember? Dude looks like a lady. Do you remember the band? Do you remember yeah. they took you through and then you do that little. It's awesome, like a long, fast ride. Yeah, it was a long <laughs> ride, but it's, it's a band, isn't no, it? No. Yeah. What? They're taking us to the show. Well, that's what the ride is, isn't it? It's taking you to the show, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting to the concert on time. Got to get on, yeah, got to get, on, yeah. Yeah, gotta get uh -huh. into the concert on time. They were sat so. in front of us at Joe Rogan. Oh, were they? Our mentors. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Get and some pickies and that? No, because no. we we were, I was sat there. No, the, no. And they walked in. Yeah, it was like the Beverly Hillbillies walked in, wasn't it? Yeah. We, yeah. Are you awake, Joe? And Joe Rogan. <laughs> yes, I'm funny. <laughs> Aerosmith walked in. And it was like, That's oh, cool. shit, this is nuts. So they're cool. literally there. Yeah. And this woman ran down the crowd like some mental bitch. And she was like, Steve! <laughs> I love you, Steve! <laughs> ran over and this bouncer just walked towards her, sort of like linked his arms with her and did like a Morris dance and <laughs> turned around and she ran the other way. And so she's like running towards him. <laughs> okay, like, nope. okay. And she okay. was like, and she ran, carried on running, goes, Steve. And then she's looking up. <laughs> How am I outside? <laughs> Literally right. just came in and fucked up. And he just sort of, he just turned around like. Nice little what? 180 redirection. Yeah, did not give one fuck. And Steve didn't even turn around. <laughs> he had enough scarves on to open a very fine <laughs> scarf shop. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Like every airport in England would have been stacked out with different. Yeah. What, didn't it? It, was, it? It could have made a circus tent out of the amount of yeah. scarves yeah. he was yeah. wearing. Yeah. Really? yeah. What? Now you want to come back up? If a wizard pulled them out of their what? sleeves, they'd be doing it for a few days. <laughs> really? Really? Yes. Ridiculous. <laughs> it was warm there, right? It does take a man well. to pull warm. off a fucking scarf. Yeah, it was warm, warm enough to send you to sleep watching Joe Rogan. And he still had six scarves on. <laughs> More than six. <laughs> Well, six, six the biggest well, number you know, Jim. Well, <laughs> six silk. <laughs> fuck? Six, seven, seven. It's because it's six silk. It's, close, it's <laughs> the closest <laughs> thing to it's six silk. It's mind, isn't it? Constantly, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I need a six silk sponsorship. <laughs> I reckon you, you get one. Just go TK Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> They're good for it. <clears throat> Did you watch the Reyes fight? The Reyes-Jones fight? You know, sometimes I have to work and it's like oh, working and it's like busy. And some work. of us have to work. I've watched first two rounds. Some of first us have to work. Rounds. First oh, two rounds. First two. All right, so Ray's won, right? Yeah, Ray's won, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I watched first two. And that's sad. I just haven't got around to it, mate. I haven't watched yeah. the last three, but um, yeah. Good though, Good. Right? Yeah. yeah, exciting, right? It's good, mm. it's good. Yeah. I'd like to see a rematch. It's not going to happen next though, no? No, I don't no, think so. What, Jan next? Yeah, yeah you I think? think so. I think so. I'd like to see a rematch, but I think that can do some building. It yeah. just it just can't be as long as what? Okay, it just can't be as long as the uh, Gustafsson fight. What was that? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Immediate mm. rematch. Five years. Yeah. Well, that would do Jones no favors, would it? No. I and don't think five years between. You know what I mean? Hopefully, the thing is that you'll get is that fire because 
when Jones, if he, if anyone's doubted him, all he wants to do is prove him wrong. Yeah. To a certain point, and the thing is, if, the longer it, they, the longer it lasts, the longer you wait, and people kind of forget, and you just remember the legacy again. Mm. I don't know. I think I'd like to see him against Jan because I think Jan deserves it. But it's yeah. w- one of them where I mean, Jan could shock the world. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it could happen. Someone's got to do it. So, yeah, it's going to happen. It's got to pull the trigger. There's a Weidman to a silver somewhere. They're yeah, all getting closer, you know I mean? aren't they? Yeah. They're all getting, it used to be. I think Rakic has got a good shot. Yeah. yeah. Rakic knocked out Manoa with that head kick. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, cross, yeah, yeah. I reckon right. he might, might have a good shot just because he covers distance with confidence. Mm. And that's what you, what you well, need. It's them young, Jones. hungry ones. It's the yeah. Johnny Walkers and the Rakic ones, the ones that haven't tasted the Lamborghinis yet. They've not been up there and sort of gone. Well, if I, like with Gus, it's like, well, if I don't make it and I'm always here, then I'm always good and I yeah. always make a decent wedge. And it sort of takes it out of the passion of being the best. I'm not yeah. saying that's what Gustav th- Gustafson thinks at all, but that's almost how it comes across sometimes because sometimes you've got to make your peace with, you just can't get past that level. Do you know what I mean? Mm. There's just Sometimes there's just someone that's got your number as well, you know? That's like, I always go back to uh, Dennis Holman again and Matt, Matt Hughes. Hughes. Yeah, mm. like Matt Hughes at one time was the best welterweight on the planet, without a doubt. Got fucked up quick but twice. Twice. Yeah, twice. Dennis yeah. Holman beat him, yeah. but Dennis Holman couldn't have beaten most of the guys that Matt Hughes beat to defend his belt. I would have thought. No. You know, mm. that's how the Matt Holman was works, a good fighter. It? Yeah. it just stylistically, they were just a in his Superman pants. Just kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blue, blue Superman pants. Jesus. Right? <clears throat> they were like bad. like Benavidez with. I mean, well, a lot of people with Demetrius Johnson. John yeah. Dodson being one of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's like he's that ceiling that you hit, and you're like, fuck that guy's. Yeah. Like if it wasn't for that guy, I could be champion. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. There are a few guys in that position. Mm. It's uh, I was never because there were always like you know a few guys above me that would have been a horrendous fight. You know what I mean? Really, really tough tests. But then there are other guys that are just so dominant in the division, aside from the one person. Yeah. That, yeah. I think sometimes it depends on where the champion is at the time. Like when you look at someone like Pettis at the time when he was red hot after he smashed Benson Henderson and had that wicked fight in the WEC to then lose to Clay because mm. he wasn't currently the champion. He was waiting for a while, wasn't he? And he said, no, I'm all right. I'll jump straight in. I don't want to fight for the belt. I'll just fight Clay and got beat. Yeah. Mm. And same as that with Chaser the other, uh, the other week. I mean, the people he's beating are former champs. Mm. And I don't know if... RDA's mindset's in a different place because he's not currently the champ. But it was like a few years ago that would have made him the champ. And it's one of them that yeah. sometimes they're a stepping stone, but depending where they are in their circumstance. Like when you look at Cejudo, like Benavidez beat Cejudo. Mm-hmm. But now he's the triple C, like yeah. whatever character he's turned himself into. And Benavidez is fighting Figueredo now, isn't he, for, yeah. the, uh, for that belt? Yeah, I'd still like. I'd like. I'd like to see Benavidez against uh, Cejudo again, though. Yeah, I think I just want to put my top trump on him first, just to fucking finish him off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't want to have a chance where he can just have another reason to say, "Keep bringing him," I keep knocking him down because it's like, I don't know. I just, I just want to see him. Yeah. Tested. Yeah, but well, he's lost. He's taken one of his belts now, haven't he? Oh, have they? Yeah, one of his belts has, has been taken. Oh, maybe he's had enough punishment. Is it? Yeah, they're taking the flyweight belt because that's why yeah, they. Uh, that's course. why they're fighting for it. Yeah. So he's just yeah. a bantamweight champ. What's well, it? Just a bantamweight champ. He's yeah. the bantamweight champ. Well, there. TJ's been circling around a bit, yeah. and he's he started being a bit. How long is it until its suspension's over? Do you know? This year. Is it this, this year? year? It's, this, it's this year. The end of this year. I think it's is it January the first or something like that, isn't it? Huh. End of December or January the first. Or s- do you reckon he'll come back as good? Or do you reckon he's going to be no, a number out? No bits and bobs in him, probably not. And two years out, yeah. I don't know. They but must, injury they, free they must, some, yeah that's the thing how I mean, old is he again if he's, he's not, not very old is, yeah maybe, it, what, maybe late 20s maybe, early 30s maybe maybe he can't yeah he can't do you want to find out how old yeah have a, have a quick look have a quick look the thing the, two, the only thing that I wonder three is year ban. three year ban I don't is know it, I think it was two because he get he he, op, he offered up his belt didn't he he, saw right. us, he said yeah I'm good I'm, I'm, my only I'm concern is a confidence thing 34 oh okay Spring chicken. How old are you, Jim? <laughs> 36, mate. Yeah. 30, 35. 35? He's a baby. 35. 35. Yeah. 36 soon. Loads of time. Yeah. Um, Could he come back? I don't know, mate. I like, I like, I like It's the confidence like the thing. Fights, that's, that's my concern. You know, yeah. when someone, like, and mm. if, the, if someone, if someone, if someone fails a drug test, 
the question is like, you know, at what point in their career did they start using that and how much of a psychological dependency do yeah. they have on that for their mm -hmm. success? True. You know, like mm -hmm. like when when Pride was consumed by the UFC and some of those fighters came over, there was a quite obvious physique change with yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Pride didn't do any drug testing. They, yeah, were, yeah. they were just like, yeah, whatever. You know, mm -hmm. can we get one freak against another? They wanted Marvel Comics. They yeah. didn't yeah, really yeah. want MMA as such. What so when Mark Coleman fought, was it Forrest? Oh, man. And he came out looking like a lobster. <laughs> and then someone just stole his lungs. Uh, in this, in, at the end of the first round, they were like, we'll have them. And he went, uh, uh, Mate, yeah. <laughs> but Mark Coleman... I, the, I always think back to when he got knocked out by um, Williams. Pete Williams with wrestling boots on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Head Straight kick the to face. the face yeah. Yeah. with boots on. That yeah. was a, wasn't that part of the credits for like a yeah. 10 years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to get ripped. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. guy, yeah. Some yeah. guy yeah. getting yeah. filled yeah. in yeah. in a car yeah. park. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So he's wearing shoes. He's just yeah. kicking yeah. the head. He's yeah. kicked me in the head with Asics. Yeah. Yeah. Asics right. gel. And do you remember when Mark Common fought um, Crow Cop in Pride? Yeah. And Krokop's takedown defense was ridiculous. It was amazing. And he just fucking ruined Mark Coleman. And then yeah. his daughters got in the ring afterwards and they were crying. Mm. Oh, it was hard work. It was a bad day at work, innit? Yeah. He got, he got him in a couple of times. Fade, after Fade all beat him up as well, he got his kids in. Yeah. I won't be getting you in the cage after get being punched in. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, I've been yeah. filled in. Do you want to come in? Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Take that top hat off. Fuck off, dad, you loser. You know what I mean? He's That's my daddy get now. off you, innit? <laughs> he's, like, he's my dad now. <laughs> daddy now. Yeah. <laughs> Give him the pink slip, James. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was. There was. A, there was like that. The, and the physique change is not because I, I. We always used to train and fight mm. against people that were using all kinds of stuff. And like mm. you, you kind of like, if you saw someone that you thought was using something, you would game plan towards it. Mm. Like, okay, yeah, yeah this guy's gonna tire yeah. out. They're gonna blow out. They're mm. gonna. But then they like there's the confidence thing as well, like. Like when someone's been using something, they then have that reliance on, oh, well, I'm stronger than this guy. Or mm -hmm. like in TJ Dillashaw's, it was EP EPO, wasn't yeah. it? So like, yeah. like is recovery. he going to question his conditioning? It's condition. It's a uh, that's what uh, yeah. Tour de France guys use, isn't yeah. it? Red blood cells. Okay. Yeah, it's red it's like count. red blood cells count. I'm not sure. Okay. But yeah, it's like the next stage onto yeah. blood doping, isn't it? Yeah, blood. Yeah, blood doping. Yeah. Yeah. So like blood doping, you oxygenate your own blood and then take it out and. That's Keep kind of fucking intense, though, isn't it? So you, it's yeah. not like having like a, a fucking supplement out the back of a Sunday magazine. No, it takes no. a lot of science. It's going, mm. yeah, yeah. Like I, I need. Well, a you get it. Out of my day. Well, I've, I've, if you get it wrong, you die, right? That's right. <coughs> I, yeah, I believe so. You, get, you, overdo science, you overdose, yeah. you overdose, you, you, you clog up. Yeah. I believe next level. Right. I believe so. I'm not a doctor, but Ooh. I'm pretty. I used to be a doctor, <laughs> but I chose to be a cage fighter. A doctor of love. Yeah, I mean, love doctor. <laughs> I'm a love doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need doctor, doctor of love, man. I'm a love doctor. There you go. Yeah, I think if you if you if you cock up on EPO, right, you, you get a heart attack and that, I presume. That but that's right? next, I so. that's next level cheating, isn't it? That's yeah, not that's just ridiculous. like that's, that's not ridiculous. writing the answer on the back of your hand and being like, fair cop. Yeah. That's like, oh, I just need to go and wash my yeah. blood out. Yeah. 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 Will it take long? Yeah, a day or two. Fucking hell. Well, it'd be interesting, eh? Yeah. Interesting seeing him come back. So it's like, like, remember when, when Anderson Silva popped mm -hmm. and that was after he, after he broke his leg? Mm -hmm. like, and that's only because Bisping said it 47,000 <laughs> times. But then there was this whole thing of, oh, Anderson Silva, he's probably always been doing it in his career and all that kind of stuff. And then like talking about how it, it devalued all the stuff that he was able to do. Mm. Like, first of all, the stuff that was amazing about Anderson Silva was technical. Yeah. It wasn't like physical attributes. He yeah. wasn't dominating people with strength or outpacing people. You know no. what I mean? It was yeah, yeah. it was martial arts accuracy. It wasn't ripping technique. phone books, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it no. Was, no. It was technically beating him up. Exactly. He wasn't he, <clears throat> he wasn't hulking. But then and then like he then like he had that he broke his leg mm. and he was what, 38, 39? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. First time. Right? Rehabbing in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's used it. Every yeah. fucking podcast. I've got to pick the kids yeah. off. Cool. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to change yeah. the settings. So, <laughs> no, you to, oh shit, we've got to, there's a rap It's quarter still. three. That's it. That's all you need to know. So what he's used that to heal the injury of the leg. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've never, yeah. I've never broken a limb. I've never had anything yeah. in a cast, but yeah. I'd imagine that there's a lot of like muscle, like muscular atrophy. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd imagine when he had that cast cut off, he stood with one leg yeah, next one, to the yeah, other. Yeah, and yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, so, like a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a curly whirly been shriveled up. 
Yeah. It's like a flannel that's not quite really been <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> Twiglet leg. Yeah. So I, mm. I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah. Twiglet. I just, I, I always wonder that. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, like a twiglet. <laughs> it would run it. It'd be like a little twiglet. Yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what, what's wrong with that? Nothing. What? Because Anderson's, what? He's, no. What? Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wrong you are. How's mate? training going, Jimmy? Good, mate. Yeah? yeah. What fights have we got coming up? I'm Four. diverting this way. Oh. Should have paid off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Ike. Sorry. Right. What we got coming up? Truman, Hepworth. Truman, Hepworth, Robinson, um, Marcus <clears throat> on the Cage Warriors. April. April, whatever it is. 18, 17, yeah. something like that, isn't it? And then yeah. you've got. Hopefully, uh, Miles and Jack and a few of the amateur guys fighting on some like the smaller shows in nice. March as well. I nice. Believe, so we we'll have to get we we'll have to get some of the boys over and have a chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's looking fights. good, mate. Everyone's working hard. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, good. absolutely. Wicked. And we've got um, Love Island in the gym, haven't we? What's his name? Ashley. Okay. Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. How's he looking? Uh, He's been working X hard, hasn't he? Beach. Huh? Beach. X on the beach. I'm not going to lie. I've not watched. I've never seen him on I've TV. Never had that. But I don't watch that stuff. But yeah. Yeah. But no, yeah, no, mate, good lad. Yeah, strong. Yeah, strong, good athlete. Holy shit. Crazy athlete, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were doing this thing the other day. Wasn't he previously an athlete? Yeah, played pro football. football like? Pro oh, football for, uh, I think he said Coventry. Yeah, okay. And then he played for clubs abroad and got injured. And then he did TV and DJing, he said, and bits and bobs, and then he does all sorts of business stuff and modelling stuff. And Yeah. But yeah, good athlete, works hard. Good, good head for it, you know what I mean? Mm. Show him something once, picks it up. So, yeah, interesting to see, yeah, yeah. interesting, interesting to have, be part of his journey and, yeah, yeah, see where he gets to, innit? Mm. Yeah, big time. It's Phil Ewan. That one's not hard, isn't it? Well, you're a pussy, innit? Yeah. You know? What can I say? What we've got coming up is the Wilder fight, <laughs> it's Wilder Fury. It's, it's this weekend, isn't it? Wilder Fury is. I, yeah. I think my cousin's gone out there to watch it. Oh, and we've got Hooker and Felder. Oh, Hooker let's, and let's Felder. Let's talk about that. Let's Ooh. talk about that. And then you've you got to shoot off soon, haven't you, Jimmy? I'm just yeah, conscious of time. I've got 45 minutes, but whatever. If I'm, sure, boring, I'm, boring, yeah, boring. if I'm boring, you fuck me off, it's fine. Right, I'm going to call out some of these fights on this card and see what you reckon. Jake Matthews against Emil Mech. Oh, I like Emil Mech. Yeah. He's mad, isn't he? He's a bit, he's a bit I, sat mad. Berserk, what we need to see is is Emil Mech against Michelle Pereira. Yeah. Dude, that's a fight that needs to Yeah, that's making. a good fight. In full war dress, like wearing like... For whatever they want. Because he's like they a Viking, wear shoes if they want. I'm not bothered. I'd just love to see that fight. Good fight. <laughs> wear It'd shoes. Hilarious. Yeah. Fight off eBay. It'd just Williams be mad, wouldn't it? Shoes. <laughs> Both in matching six silk. That'd be good. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> You're only allowed to say it three times, otherwise you get charged. Oh. <laughs> By TK Maxx. <laughs> TK. <laughs> I ain't never seen a six. You see, have you ever seen a six or can take him out? Joe's already bought them all for yeah. you from there. Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut up. I know <laughs> that's a lie. I know that's a lie. She buys me fuck all. <laughs> so that's a lie. So stop talking well, let shit. Let me stir that pot. She's <laughs> <laughs> buying them all for Ashley Kane now. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it? She's trying to help out in the gym more. Where's he down? Where's he down? Where's he down? Your bird's been in there and oh, all. Oh, mate. Your bird's, been, yeah, mate. your bird's been out with fucking baby oil. That's fucking it. random as fuck. She knew more than me. She just... When did he start? Stace, when, when, Stace. when did he start training? Stace, there? isn't it? Stace, isn't it? That's not what he calls him. Eh? No. no. We know <laughs> what he calls him. <laughs> no, no, mate. Yeah. No, I cry myself to sleep and start with you. Go on, sure. <laughs> what do you reckon to the main event? Felder against Hooker. I can't Who you fucking got? wait. Who you got? I've got to have Five Felder. rounds. I've got to have Felder. I've got to. Yeah? Just because I've met him once. <laughs> <laughs> And he seems Easily like a nice swear. guy. I've called him Mo Sislak too many times on the podcast. <laughs> Do you think he looks like Mo Sislak off The Simpsons? <laughs> Mo? You know who Mo is? <laughs> Without a beard. But look, right, so that's that's Maybe. Paul Felder. Is Mo Have Sislak. you said that to his face? No, have I thought? He's saying it on camera now, so next time he sees you, he's probably going to egg kit you or something. No, well, we, we bumped into him and obviously him and Dan are boys, so I'd like to think that carries me a little bit away, otherwise I'd be texting you guys. <laughs> James, don't you think he looks like Mo Sislak? Uh, yeah, there's similarities there. Similarities? Yeah, it's the same fucking bloke. He's just not grey or got a shotgun. <laughs> Your groundskeeper Willie though, Jimmy, so, you know. Oh, Something Willie. <laughs> Something Willie. Who, who takes the fight? You got Felder? I'm going with the ginger. <clears throat> I'm going to yeah. go with Felder. But I mean, Hooker's looked mm. unstoppable apart from when he got stopped by Barboza. Yeah. Was it Barboza? Almost unstoppable, yeah, body kicks. Yeah, I but mean. But that, that was, I watched that fight this morning. <laughs> 
because <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's just funny to listen to the commentary. It's like, you can stop the fight now. Like the commentary team are going, yeah, yeah you, you can stop the fight now. Yeah. The referee can stop the fight now. <laughs> it's like, he just kept getting kicked in the body. And he just like kept walking into it, didn't he? And, it yeah. wasn't even like he was trying As soon as to... he could stand up right, he started to walk forward yeah. again. This is going to be a, an awesome fight. Mm, it's going to yeah. be... It's going to be a lot of fun. And that co-main event as well, Jimmy Crute against uh, uh, Mikhail Oleg Shejuk. That's a name I've uh, Oleg nailed. Oleg Shejuk. Mikhail Oleg Shejuk. Um, he's... Uh, <laughs> oh, Mickey. <laughs> Mickey. He's one of Pavel's guys. Um, oh, and nice. he's, a, he's a small, okay. light heavyweight. I think I've seen him And once. he's got a hell of a crack on him. He's yeah. been knocking people out. Was it... Uh, oh, he's just lost to OSP by Von Fluchoke. Um, but before that, he knocked out Gian Volante with a body shot. Remember that? I remember that. Yeah. That was like a really needed a poo on it. <laughs> it was. And um, Gadzimorad Antigolov. That was a knockout. And that was a that was like, knocked him down four or five times, finished him on the, uh, like, it was like a minute or something. Yeah. yeah. 44 seconds. Yeah, it was nuts. That was when you were there, wasn't that? Yeah. Wasn't yeah, I called both of those fights. Yeah, you were there. They were, they were. Great fights. I, I, he's he's a real talented fighter, and the reason that he's so effective with that with that weight is because he's not cutting much. Mm. Like he's pretty much walking on scales at two hundred five. I think it makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, I Big do. Time. And he's got Jimmy Crute, who's trained by um, uh, what's his name, Sam Greco, the K one guy. And uh, oh, Jimmy Crute's the one with the, uh, he was the Rainbow guy. Six, uh, not Rainbow Six, Resident Evil tattoo. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. a strong decision to make, right? <laughs> That like, what do you want? <laughs> I want the rainbow stars from. Hang on a minute, you got Jimmy Wallet sitting next to you. Well, I was starting with a about... shit tattoo conversation. <laughs> Can you Fuck see, off. Have you seen how high the ceiling Fuck is, off. Jim? Have you Fuck seen? Off. What? Have we seen that diamond? What sort of diamond? Because I love it. Good. This is my favourite tattoo story oh, I ever. I can live with that one. What that made you have a diamond? Like... It fit. Fit, fit the gap. <laughs> it fit the gap. <laughs> fit the gap, mate. And the, the that's what he said about you, wasn't it? And diamonds, uh, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> the diamond, like indestructible. Double hard, yeah, mate, I, all I mate. think is Are you having tattoos, and I'm double junior? fucking hard. Mate. You ever had a body shot? Can we get a glove? Have you ever had a body shot? <laughs> have you ever had a body, body shot? shot on camera? Let's <laughs> uh, see if this six little banter can oh be God, stopped. Here we go. Oh no, I don't want to pack it. You got a good body shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't want. Spotty's one first MMA round the other day. Hey, Spotty's first MMA rounds. I saw. Yeah, I enjoy it. You enjoy your first MMA rounds? Have you got it tattooed on your back yet? No, not yet. Oh, let's go to sleep. You want to go to sleep? Yeah, he did. He enjoyed it. Degree. Wicked. Degree. Wicked. But yeah, shit tattoos. Let's move. Let's well, get no, on All I was saying, I wasn't even mentioning your Billy Connolly. I was mentioning the Resident Evil. He's got Resident Evil tattoos. <laughs> that I guy. He's going to win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's a, that's a good fight though, that is. It is going to be a good He was fight. the guy, he stopped uh, Sam Albi in the first round as well. Yeah, in Melbourne. quickly. Yeah. 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 Um, and Karolina Kowalkovic against Yan Xiaonan. That's going to be like um, like a martial arts movie that one is that's going to be like Power Stone isn't it yeah. on Dreamcast it's going to be wicked it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun to watch Yan Xiao Nan's like she's like side on real fast makes loads of noise when she's throwing like, yeah 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 and then obviously Carolina does as well but she's yeah. just marching forward mm. like tie boxing style some good fights on this card it's going to be really good, good fights and where is card. it it's New Zealand I'm, you're I'm heading going. out right jeez I am I forgot about that's that that's tomorrow isn't it <laughs> yeah you're going to New Zealand tomorrow <laughs> he's going to New Zealand yeah. to, when tomorrow. are you going Tomorrow. I was looking at the 17. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. Tomorrow. Um, we're going to have some good training this week, me and Dan. <laughs> <laughs> good session. Eh? That's so, that so, a week I've got planned for this. So that Wednesday great, session that we were doing. Yeah, I told you I was going to New Zealand. Uh, did you? It's my, it's my job. Some of us have got work to do. Ah, <laughs> some of us have got work to do. Fair play, fair play, fair play. I've made some new yeah. stickers. Make sure you take some with you. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. I've got a job to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't ever call yours for yeah. work. Get out. Right, I think it's time for a brew. All good? I've got a question for you. Oh, hang on. This is from the random. I've got a few things. This is what I write down. When he's sitting on the toilet. Yeah. No one uses ace or rad anymore. What? No one says ace or rad anymore, do they? No one uses you say rad. ace. That's ace. If I said, oh man, COD 4, that's ace. You're not, you're do you know what that means? Ace. Yeah? yeah do anyone, does any, the, the kid, the, you know, you're down with the kids. <laughs> is anyone, is anyone using that anymore in language in the talking oh that's ace or no, rad, rad rad body shot junior no no oh, not being oh, used. No, no one said rad since like the 60s have they 70s I want to oh, bring rad back to, that went out with fucking do, yeah. cowabunga yeah I want rad to come back and I want to get you a cape <laughs> me a cape I want to bring capes back. oh I'm, up for, I'm for capes, capes. yeah, yeah. I'm capes for capes and rad but it'll say rad on the cape that was nah, the branding no. 
Rad capes. Rad- <laughs> It's all about bringing back. What do you reckon about someone posting? Who was your like dress smart? We all dress, well, you look a proper scuffy cunt, but like we all dress a bit shit, don't we? Well, Who does? Well, I, I do. Know. I'm in six foot custom polo shirt. Yeah. What yeah. do you reckon? Like, to bring the suits back, isn't it? Yeah. I wear what for the podcast? Well, yeah, just or just general, generally, like, mate. I scrub up a bit. I smash the tits off you a three piece. Scrubbed up. He Thanks, does it Jimmy. weekly though, don't he? On, on camera. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'll wear a suit for you, Jim. Am I just going to turn up in a three piece and <laughs> waltz it in? And you're going to be wearing fucking board shorts and a six silk vest. Six silk track for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. an Ed Hardy dressing gown. Like yeah. like yeah. like dressing gown. Did, you, did you see when they came <laughs> yeah. out? Yeah. 470 quid. You're like, I know embroidery is expensive, <laughs> but Mr. Hardy, yeah. they're ridiculous. It would actually be cheaper to get the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, just get the full body suit. I've got suit. space for that. I can have a, <laughs> a little one. I can have a little Ed Hardy tattoo. <laughs> right. <laughs> this question, you can answer this as well if you want, Junior. Okay. Because the other day, I had a bit of Christmas money, right? So you know when you've got your Christmas money that's yours, mm. do you count, when you're buying something online... Let's say I was buying a pair of boots, right? And they were 50 quid. Now, I've only got 50 quid for my birthday money, but the postage then made it 54 quid. You don't count postage when you're justifying spending your birthday money, do you? No. You don't have to have no. 54 pounds to buy it. Just like you wouldn't, you wouldn't allocate petrol. That's to go my and pick point to my wife. Shop. <laughs> petrol. Oh, money. hang on a minute. You fucking set me up Thank here. Thank you, mate. You've just I don't, me up. No, I agree with you, Stace. No. <laughs> Petrol it's including money, posting your package. Petrol money and space. parking money. And you might nip into, I don't know, Greg's or somewhere, spend something you wouldn't have bought. So now I'm sat at home. So really, I should probably be able to spend £60 on a pair of boots. That's right, isn't it? Because of parking, petrol, snacks. <laughs> so it's not giving no money at the minute. <laughs> I don't get money. I don't get money. I have to make my own clothes. So then when I do buy something, I was just thinking about it the other day because I was buying something and I was like, trying to work it out in I was like, you shouldn't count postage. That shouldn't come out of your fucking doubloon, should it? That should come out of the everyday pot. Do you know what I mean? Uh, what what yeah. was the last thing you bought yourself, Jim? Last thing I bought myself. <laughs> you know, if it's a blowy, don't say. <laughs> no, I was I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it weren't a six silk top, to be honest. <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> probably was. It all the way home. Probably fucking buzzing. Dead happy. <laughs> <laughs> Like Carlton in my, in my fucking, what was it? Fo, I would pay for that. How do you say it? Fo, Fo, Fo Satchet. Satchet. Fo Satchet. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I've got a six-up top at home you can have. Cheers. That's nice. I'll put it to my collection of three, <laughs> yeah. 330 of them. Uh, that catalogue. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I've got it all. Uh, I just love the fact you wore a plain, plain T-shirt. I'm plain today. to that. I thought I'd play it safe and swerve it, but it actually had it more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like totally backfired. Well, now we can Photoshop anything we want on there. <laughs> Wait, do, do you remember when Do you remember when, uh, when the UFC banned plain T-shirts ages yeah. ago? Yeah. If I remember right... Affliction GS- were banned. Yeah, that was it. If I remember right, GSP was sponsored by Affliction. Right. Yeah, he was. And Affliction were banned. Yeah, I, remember, I remember Affliction. Yeah. yeah. So they were paying GSP to wear a plain black T-shirt and they were going to Photoshop Affliction onto it. Oh, right. So then the UFC banned it's plain genius. T-shirts. That's fucking genius, really. No, but what difference does it make? If you're going to Photoshop a shirt... I could, yeah, I could, you could wear... <laughs> no matter what's on the shirt, fucking, right? Yeah, I could put a shirt on <laughs> most fighters and be like... He was wearing a shirt in the octagon. <laughs> it said Fat yeah. Willies on it. Yeah, it was, yeah. That was, that's weird. It doesn't say Fat Willies was a brand when we were Surfing kids. Surfing thing. Yeah. You'd have to fucking pay me, well, I don't even think there's an amount of money you could pay me to wear Affliction nowadays. No, I did yeah. find, I've got both the GSP ones and I've got the original Randy one that he wore out to UFC one. 72. I had the Randy one. When he fought Tim Sylvia for the belt. Yeah. Came out of retirement, walked out and it has got two schools on it and he came out, he looked fucking badass, beat the shit out of Tim Sylvia and it wasn't long after that that I met him uh, for his book thing because I did his website. And basically, I managed to squirrel me in China in for the me- <laughs> meeting afterwards and the meal, which he stole China's chips, which he wasn't very happy about. But I actually wore the shirt and asked him to sign it. And he, the fucking pen ran out halfway through. So it was like, ran or... <laughs> He's got Randy. Ran or... Oh. That's what I've got on the top. Yeah. Randall. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, yeah, I won't, I won't wear a lot of affliction, no. I don't think. I met the guy that started the company and went home and threw my shirts out the day after. I met him. I yeah. met him at a trade show called Pure Dickhead. in London. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no. yeah, was he was awesome. he was yeah. sat there in this trade show basically trying to just farm it out to anyone. And it was like, it was gone past affliction to like, like affliction had fucked a fake Von Dutch cap and just gone <laughs> full tilt, mad old school vintage Americana 
ugliness just on everything. Like they had every skull, flame, chain, yep. blood splatter, cobwebs, bat cobwebs, wings, bats. Like a bloody My Chemical Romance t shirt. Yeah, like a fan made. <laughs> yeah. My Chemical Romance. Like yeah. if Tony Ferguson <clears throat> had a twin brother that was locked in a room for a month just drawing designs of. Yeah, and listening to Marilyn Manson. Yes. Mm -hmm. With his fake Liz on. Yeah. Listening to Corn in the Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then drawing pictures and going uh -huh. affliction there you go and they yeah. were like fucking hell we've got these for days and then you take one of those brand new shirts and you tie it to the back of your car and drive to London and back <laughs> yeah and then sell it to someone yeah vintage. Who, oh, who, I was really not a fan <laughs> no not so <laughs> <laughs> don't cross me don't fucking cross me <laughs> no no not with two events not with two <clears throat> events like they had all good yeah, man. I don't think there's, there's, there's plenty of other random Well, shit, the but... kids meant needed picking up from school 15 minutes ago. So. And I've got to go an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be right. <laughs> All good. We're good. Thanks for joining us, Jimmy. Thanks Junior. for having me. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining us. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next time. I felt like a reptile. Like a reptile. I felt like a reptile.